Hey friends, Sean from Draft Therapy here, and on today's review for you, I'm a sucker for a good pineapple. Pineapple Cloud 19 is a 7% New England style IPA from Brew Detroit in Detroit, Michigan. Listen, I've made it no secret that I think Brew Detroit is a criminally underrated brewery, not only because they kick out quality beer, but because they do it at an ultra competitive price. Now today I'm exposing a secret shame of mine. Even though this has been on the market for a little while, I think a couple years, I still haven't gotten around to trying Pineapple Cloud 19. And like I said before, I'm a sucker for great pineapple flavors in beer, especially IPAs, which thankfully seems like it's a popular thing this summer. And I'm really looking forward to trying out this beer, so let's take a look at the label and get it into a glass. But first, I'd like to thank my executive producers, Eric Letowski, Brian Kramer, and David Jeffries for helping to bring this review to you today. If you'd like to become a producer, help out the channel, or maybe just buy me a beer, take a look at my Patreon at patreon.com slash draft underscore therapy, where you can get early access to these videos, exclusive members-only live streams, and a few other special perks available only to patrons. Let's take a look at the label. So if we look at the front, always start at the front. We have Brew Detroit at the top. It has these kind of rays of sunshine coming down. It says cloud 19 on a cloud. And underneath that, on another cloud, it says pineapple, double dry hop, New England style India pale ale. If we turn it around to the back, we have the Brew Detroit logo. It says Brew Detroit, Michigan, pineapple, New England style IPA, double dry hop with mosaic and Heller Tau Blanc, heavily fruited with pineapples. That is music to my ears. It has uh, Detroit, Michigan here and the independent craft beer logo. Again, this is 7% alcohol by volume. And then on the other side of the spine, it just has the government warning. Brew Detroit LLC in Detroit, Michigan. This was canned on May 17th. I'm recording this on June 5th. So this is pretty fresh, only a couple weeks. And I picked it up. When I picked it up, I knew it was fresh. I'm going to be using an IPA glass today. So let's go ahead and crack this. We'll put a nose on the label and we will see what everything is all about with this beer. So cracking it. Nice big crack. Has a bit of a pineapple aroma. That's a good sign for me, at least. All right, let's go ahead and pour this. It's coming out cloudy out of the can, collecting in the glass with a nice kind of cloudy look to it. I got a little bit of a dribble on the back of the can here, so I was a little hesitant. I didn't want that spilling all over the place. Looking at this, this IPA glass, sometimes I get a lot of heads, sometimes I don't. This one, I do, so I'm getting about three fingers worth of head here. Really super compact, dense bubbles, really nice and just foamy. It's sitting on there like a block. It's just, it's not moving. Nice, dense bubbles. It's a little bit off-white, the head that is, and I think a lot of that is the color of the beer radiating up through there. Let's go ahead and take a look at it in the light here. And that is hazy as all get out. Oh my gosh, I just noticed in the bottom of this glass, so on the top, we all obviously have the little bit off-white head, a little bit kind of shading towards yellow. We have a nice yellow golden color here. Uh, not much, just seeing a little bit of a shadow. And there is just tons, tons, tons of carbonation rising up from the bottom of this glass. I don't think I've seen that much kind of carbonation for a long time out of a New England style IPA. Let's go ahead and put a nose on the glass here. Yeah, getting those sweet kind of pineapple aromas. There is a bit of a citrus in here. Remember, this is a New England style IPA. It is based off of Cloud 19, which is a New England style IPA from Brew Detroit. I believe this is now a year round brew though, pineapple Cloud 19. But yeah, getting a lot of pineapple, getting a little bit of a citrus, kind of those, those um, kind of acidic notes of pineapple a little bit. So it has just a really bursting pineapple aroma. Let's try it out, cheers. Okay, wow. Let's talk about the mouthfeel first. It's got a nice soft mouthfeel. It is a little bit leaning more. I feel like it's a little bit leaning more towards the light end than the medium kind of New England style mouthfeel that you might generally be associate with a New England style IPA. You know, that cloudy, soft, pillowy kind of mouthfeel. It's a little bit lighter than that. Let's talk about the taste. Big time. Wow, big time bursting pineapple flavors, lots of pineapple. It has like that sweet kind of pineapple juicy flavor. It also has a little bit of a subtle kind of aftertaste pineapple, a little bit of, uh, you know, you chew on a pineapple a little bit too long after all the juice is kind of gone. You get that kind of rindy, um, tougher, kind of rougher part of a pineapple. 
<laughs> yeah, I'm just weird maybe in that respect. But anyways, getting that kind of feel on the tail end, but on the beginning with that pineapple kind of bursting juiciness, there is also a little bit of an orange citrusy kind of flavor in there too. Just a really nice flavor throughout. Very sweet. There's very low bitterness. There's not a whole lot of bitterness to speak of out of this beer. The bitterness that I am picking up a little bit on is a little bit on the tail end. There is a little bit of a, maybe almost like a, wow, it's like a citrus, but it's almost like, almost like a grapey kind of, a, a grape kind of finish on there. A little bit, a little tiny bit. It's not a dry finish, but the bitterness is almost like a grape peel kind of tannin bitterness, just a tiny bit. But yeah, wow. Overall, again, I said I'm a sucker. Uh, I'm not going to lie to you. I'm a huge sucker for pineapple and beer. I think pineapple is a really just kind of complimentary flavor to all the different, you know, oranges, uh, all the oranges, all the oranges out there, all the citrus kind of qualities that you get on New England style IPAs. Usually it's very citrusy forward. This has, like I said, it has that pineapple flavor. It has a bit of a maybe almost even a stone fruit kind of flavor in there too. So it's really kind of, you know, you get a lot of the, you get a lot of the pineapple and that's a great thing. I love pineapple for this, for this guy, pineapples, it's tops, but you also get a little bit of that citrus. There is a little bit of a kind of stone fruit element in there as well. I said I was getting a bit of a kind of grape peel kind of finish. I'm not, subsequent view, uh, views, subsequent taste has kind of fallen off. So maybe it's more of that kind of orangey, you know, citrusy kind of bitterness on the tail end, but the bitterness is super smooth. I mean, I, I, without totally dissecting this beer, like the flavors that I'm getting, I couldn't even tell you like what the, 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 if I was just drinking them back, I couldn't tell you what the bitterness is in here because it is just so smooth. I'm really, really happy with, uh, with Pineapple Cloud 19. I think this is a, you know, 7%, I talk about low ABV. 7%, obviously, uh, these days is kind of like right at the start of medium ABVs. I feel like six and under are kind of light beer at this point, or low ABV. So 7% is good. It's not over the top. I feel like maybe you could have one or two of these, not set you back too much. Um, and, and with the, the, again, this is a perfect summer beer because we're getting into the summer kind of months. We already obviously in there. The weather's been getting warm finally. So it's just a great beer to go along with those warm days. If you're looking for, for a New England style IPA that really just pushes the boundaries with a lot of pineapple flavor, like I said, uh, um, countless times now at this point, I love pineapple flavor in beer. So this one really scratches an itch for me. If you're looking for a nice summer pineapple tropical uh, New England style IPA, Cloud 19, Pineapple Cloud 19 is the beer for you. All right, friends, that has been Pineapple Cloud 19 from Brew Detroit. Have you had this beer? Do you have any thoughts on it? What are some underrated, criminally underrated Michigan breweries in your opinion? Let me know in the comments down below while you're down there. If you like beer, you might want to subscribe and click that bell. I'm here talking about beer, mostly Michigan beer, twice a week, Tuesdays and Thursdays. It's all for free for viewers just like you. I've been throwing in these bonus beer briefs. And, and if you're not subscribed and getting notifications, you'll never know anything about it. And you might miss your newest favorite if you're not subscribed and getting those notifications. So until next time, I'm Sean from Draft Therapy. Thanks for stopping by. Remember, drink craft beer, support your local breweries, and most importantly, don't forget to treat yourself to a little draft therapy. Thanks for stopping by. Thanks for watching. See you next time. Cheers.